everybody. Welcome to this uh, Friday night webinar at five o'clock with me, Richard, and Alex. Good evening. Good evening, Hello, Alex. Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. How are you? You okay? I'm good. How are you? Good. I'm all right. Yeah. Have a nice day today. Okay, guys, just to introduce ourselves briefly, my name is Richard and I'm from Wales originally and I have been living in Italy for around four and a half years and I'm a teacher at uh, Milano Meravigli, the school in Meravigli in Milano. And you, Alex? So hello everybody, uh, my name is Alex, I'm uh, from Milan and I'm uh, also half American, so I am bilingual. Uh, my mother was Amer is American and my father is Italian. Like Richard, I also work in Milano Meravigli. Okay, so cool. We have our first guest, we have Mattia here, and Mattia is from Verona. Nice to meet you, Mattia. Nice city also. I've been to Verona. Very Beautiful nice city. city. Definitely yeah. City. Okay. Tonight in this focus activity, we are going to be describing a band. Okay. So, Alex, uh, firstly, do you listen to music? Do you listen to a lot of music? I listen to a lot of music, both yeah. live and on um, CDs and vinyls. So, I really love music. Vinyls? Yes, <laughs> now, now, you, now you're showing your age. <laughs> I remember vinyls. And uh, do you listen to a lot every day or? Nearly every day. I don't watch a lot of TV, but I'd rather listen to some music in the evening. Ah, okay. Ah, you're very lucky. Mm. I don't get. I don't really get a lot of uh, a lot of chance to listen to music. I have children, so. Um, Mind you, recently we have been uh, listening to a lot more music uh, for the kids because mm. everybody's in lockdown. We've been trying to get them to do a little bit more dancing mm. uh, for some exercise. So, okay, perfect. Guys, uh, when you want to jump in and tell us who you are and where you're from, please feel welcome. Let's right. have a look at the next slide, shall we, Al? Yes. So... In this focus activity, we're going to be seeing some band vocabulary and we will deal with the present continuous as well as adverbs of manner. Okay, so cool. all in the context of music. So please write us what you like to listen to at home. Okay, okay so let's start. Okay, music. Let's have a look at the questions. Who is your favorite band, Richard? Oh, to be honest, that is like asking what's my favorite film. Um, I have many, many favorite bands um, and many different types of music. Um, Recent, I'll, I'll tell you what I've been listening to recently because maybe that gives you a bit of an idea. Um, I've been listening to a lot of Talking Heads recently. Nice. Um, I'm a big fan of the new wave scene from New York. Uh, I actually went to CBGB's when I was in New York just to, uh, it wasn't open, but I just wanted to go there. Mm. Um, so uh, I listen to a lot of uh, American music and uh, I listen to a lot of British music. I'm not so familiar with uh, Italian music, to be honest. I mean, not the Italian sort of uh, pop music or modern mm -hmm. music. Do you have a favorite band, Al? I don't. I don't probably have a, a favorite band. I have a lot of favorite bands. Um, I like Nine Inch Nails a lot. Uh, oh, wow. 
I like um, Iggy Pop. I like a lot of alternative kind of music. So I really have a wide range of um, of interest in music. Um, so you like I the like you like go, yeah yeah you, you like the Stooges then definitely yes yeah <laughs> uh, yes and uh, I also like the recent comeback of psychedelic music. So lots of bands from San Francisco or Seattle, a lot of American bands. Definitely. Okay. I'm just going to respond to uh, one of the messages because we have a message from Olga, who I know very well. And she sent a nice message to me saying, Richard, I so Hi. miss you in school and you, Olga. Nice to... Uh, Nice to hear from you on the uh, on the webinar. I hope you are okay. Yes, and uh, I hope you're studying hard, and I hope everybody in your family is fine. So it's nice to hear from you, uh, Mattia. We will try to uh, type read what more. I could. You read as much as you can. Okay. Um, nice. by, okay. Yes, we'll try and help you out there, Mattia. Yes. And if you need any help during the lesson, please uh, please send us a message. Okay, the next question. Oh. So the next question is, what is your favorite instrument? My favorite instrument is the piano, uh, because I'm answering the third question for you also. Uh, I actually played the piano. Uh, can you play an instrument? Yes. Well, I could. Yes. I started playing the piano when I was uh, six years old. And I played until I was 30. Uh, oh. I was classically trained. And um, yeah, so it must be my favorite instrument. Um, I, also, I also like the guitar. I don't play the guitar. Uh, I could only play one instrument. Um, and you, Al, do you have a favorite instrument? Um, I'd say I like the sound of a bass a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how to play bass. I used to play the piano when I was small, up to okay. around high school. Uh, then I moved. So I didn't continue taking lessons. So that kind of, um, I dropped it. But uh, yeah, I like the piano, the sound of the piano a lot, but probably in music, I prefer the bass. Okay. All right. Uh, Matthias sent us a message. Very nice. He says he likes many genres. Same here, but he loves listening and playing Irish I, I do like Irish folk, actually. Lovely. I like a lot of. Wow. And um, and what do you play, Mattia? You say play in Irish folk. Mean playing uh, records, or do you mean actually playing an instrument? Let us know. Yeah. And anybody else has a favorite instrument or can play an instrument? Okay, yeah, we're very not. curious. So please okay. drop us a comment. Okay. All right. So let's go on. Band vocabulary. Oh. So for Mattia, in this slide, we have to match the vocabulary to the pictures. We have four pictures and four band roles. So we have a singer, a guitarist, a drummer, and a pianist. Okay. So I don't know if you guys want to have a quick try at these uh i have no favorite instrument can play the tin whistle whoa <laughs> that's a good one that's a nice that's one quite, quite original too yeah it's quite unusual i know yeah mm -hmm. all right okay so let's have a look at these we have four photos we need to match okay so i think that a is a drummer Yes. Correct. Good. Let's see. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, look, we'll read out what uh, Olga has written. Yes, okay. So Olga has written A for drama. Perfecto. Okay, great. And she has also written B for guitarist. Fantastic. C for pianist. And D, singer. Great, Olga, 100%. Very Perfect. well done. Good. Excellent. And can we think of any other instruments in a, uh, in a band? Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> We're switching screens. Yes. Any other instruments in any other instruments in the band, guys? Uh, okay, we said we had a guitarist. Um, Alex mentioned that we have a bass guitar, yes. which has a very low sound. Okay, uh, we also have a guitar that uh, maybe I'm just going to type these for you also, uh, which is like the main guitar. So that is the lead guitar. Okay. We also have a guitar that plays uh, more, more, more rhythm. And this is, oops, excuse me, sorry guys, a lot wrong spelling. Please check my spelling. Yeah. Uh, a rhythm guitar also. Okay. And we also have maybe an electronic uh, thing that is similar to a piano. Could be a synthesizer or could be an organ, but a very general word is keyboard. Keyboard, yes. Yeah, and, and the person that plays a keyboard is a keyboard player. Exactly. Of course, it does depend on the type of band. As Mattia mentioned here, he likes Irish folk. So you maybe could have a, uh, like a, a tin whistle in a band, a violin, but for your, for your normal type of pop or rock bands, these are the the general, yeah, the, 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 yeah, most common the most instru common instrument, yeah, that we that we have. Can you think of any more? Huh? Anything um, else? I think these are the yeah, main th ones. You might have bands that have a chorus or yes. backing vocals. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you could have other people singing with the singer, so they back in singers, exactly. so they provide backing vocals. Um, yes. Okay. All right, very good, guys. Well done, Olga. I knew very I could well you. <laughs> so okay, let's, let's move to the next one. And here we are with an example of a description of a band. So, for who's listening to listening to us now, describe your favorite band, like in the example. Which instruments are there in this band? What type of music do they play? So for example, uh, my favorite band is Queen. There's a singer, two guitarists, and a drummer. There isn't a pianist, and they aren't any dancers. They play rock music. And my favorite song is whatever, whatever song you really love of Queen. Do you like Queen? Um, it's probably not my not my favorite band it's not that i favorite? don't like them but uh, i generally do not listen to queen okay all right do you like so queen? um uh, i appreciate them yeah exactly <laughs> I, uh, it's, I, not it's, it, it's not yeah it's not something i really listen to but i think they are a good band maybe not really my particular type of music i do like maybe two or three of their songs or maybe a few more i don't have any albums by them um 
but I think uh, Freddie Mercury was a was a great singer. Uh, um, so I appreciate them. Shall I uh, describe? one of my favorite bands i say one because there are there are there are so many um i'm just trying to think of another band i like let's choose something a little bit more uh okay one of my favorite bands uh is in excess hi massimo uh in excess are a, an australian band okay and in in excess there is a singer and there are two guitarists uh mm. there's a drummer okay also and one instrument uh which was very popular in bands in the 80s the late 80s the early 90s was a saxophone and in excess has a saxophone player um there aren't any dancers. <laughs> um, I'm going to just make this up now. There isn't a violinist. And mm -hmm. they play, oh, a bit of a different, difficult genre, I guess. They sort of play sort of rock, funk. Yeah, it's a bit of a fusion uh, with their music. And my favorite song by In Excess. Uh, I don't know. I guess you all know the song "Need You Tonight." It's a good song. It was very popular when I was when I was young. And Massimo's favorite band is Deftones. Yes, well done, Massimo. Very nice. Have you, have you heard? I think I've. Have you heard of Deftones? Eh? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, I, don't, I guess they were big in the 90s. Maybe I'm, I hope Massimo won't tell me off on that <laughs> one. But um, uh, yeah, they're quite a big band. Uh, not exactly my cup of tea, but uh, really popular and really good alternative band. Um, are, they Amer are they American or, uh, or British? I, I know. The I name. Could, it could be. I honestly don't know. The um, name's familiar, but I, I really, that's, that's all, I've just seen the name. I don't really know anything else. Um, Mattia Alex. is asking us yeah. how we translate flauto traverso. I guess it's transverse flute. Transverse flute. Could that sound correct? Well, I know you have uh, American. Okay. Japanese <laughs> are American. Uh, well, I mean, I know you have a flute, yes, yeah. but the, in 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 um, uh, in Italian, this, I think this is a little bit of a sort of false friend. But yeah, it's it's not a recorder. In 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 schools, you learn to play the recorder, and you, right. uh, they have a very similar word in Italian, like flauta or something. Yes, flauta. the flute for us is played like this. Yes. Yeah, so I don't know whether that's the flute de traverso. Yeah, exactly, the um, flute is like this. Is it? I think mm -hmm. you can specify it uh, further by saying transverse flute, but if you just say flute, we mean this one. Okay, um, I'm curious now. No. Or used to play at least the flute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You want to describe your favorite band? Alex, using the examples? Yes, yeah. yes, uh, definitely. I, like I said, I like um, Iggy Pop and the Stooges. Uh, so uh, in the Stooges, there's a singer, Iggy Pop, exactly. Uh, there's one guitarist, one bass player, and a drummer. So there are, there's no... Um, rhythm guitar there's only one guitarist and there's no backing vocals um they play alternative rock and, yeah. and uh, probably my favorite song would be uh well let's see if your favorite album i like the idiot okay we that's brilliant we have a fantastic comment by Olga, which has made me laugh. 
right? She says she likes the triangle too. Yes, because you don't need to learn so much. Yes, you just need to to hit it. <laughs> oh, at least you're making, you know, you're part of the music. So why uh, I I I can play the triangle also. <laughs> can you play the triangle? <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, I like that. Very good. Very nice. Okay. So right, let's let's go to the next slide. Exactly. We're going to review okay. the present continuous. So if you want to drop a line in the comments when we use the present continuous, surprise us. So when do we use the present continuous? A, B, or C? A for actions that usually happen, B for past actions, C for actions happening now. Okay, so, so anybody want to drop a comment, just drop a letter? Any ideas, guys? A, B, or C? Dun, 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 dun. You weren't, no, 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 give up the day job. Don't, don't be a singer. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. The present continuous Go. is used for actions that are happening now. Okay. So we can say now we are, now me and Alex are talking to each other. We are talking to you guys. We are having a webinar. And yes. you are learning English. Right. And we are discussing music. Exactly. Okay. So or discussing can, bands. In the example, she's playing the guitar. Perfect. Okay. So, so let's put this into practice. Let's have a little bit of practice on the present continuous with the next slide. Okay. So we have uh, the title, Musicians. Of course, musicians are the people who play a musical instrument or sing also. This is the voice is an instrument. And uh, it asks us to describe this photo. And it asks us, what is he wearing? And what is he doing? So if you remember, in the present continuous, we use the verb and ing. Okay, subject and verb and ing. So we have he wearing, he doing. We have the items of clothing there. We have a hat and we wear a hat where, Alex? On your head. Perfect. We have a t-shirt. Okay, I'm wearing a t-shirt, guys, if you can see. Yes. We have a scarf. And where do we wear a scarf? On your neck. Perfect. Uh, we have a dress. Who wears a dress, a man or a woman? A woman. Debatable. Um, <laughs> okay, a woman wears a dress. It's a long thing. A bit like a skirt, but all in one piece. A shirt. Do you okay. wear shirts in the office? Do I wear what? Sorry, Alex? Shirt in the office. Yes, uh, normally a uh, shirt is more formal, so uh, a lot of office workers wear shirts, okay, a uh, shirt will have a collar, okay, a collar here, which is a V, yes, what and color, what color is normally a shirt? A shirt, uh, normally blue or white, mm -hmm. you know, for an office maybe, but a yeah, really, there could be any shirt, but yes, um, an office worker would wear maybe quite a normal, like a white or a blue or light blue, possibly a grey, maybe. Okay, mm -hmm. then we have trousers, okay, and we wear trousers on our... Legs. Perfect. Well, and then, trousers mm -hmm, is actually a British English word. So in American English, you call them pants. Now be Perfect. careful because pants in England is something quite different. Can you explain, Richard? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay, guys. Yeah, uh, that's a very good point by Alex. 
this is quite important uh, with the British and American English because pants in British English is underwear. What we wear under our clothes. Mm -hmm. So if you go into a shop in Britain and say, ah, oh, could I buy some pants, please? They will show you to the underwear department. And I'll just write, so we've got it here, pants in British English is where? Just make sure the spelling is okay. So we have that so you guys can see it. Okay, and then the last one, uh, jeans. Okay. Jeans, yeah. And jeans are a type of trousers or type of pants if you're using American English. Okay, and here we have the example using the present continuous for what is what is he wearing and what is he doing so we have he's wearing a hat which of course as alex said is on your head and uh he's playing the guitar okay great should we go to the next one yes try to describe this picture so what are they wearing and what are they doing? So you have a list of words, always related to clothes. So you have hat, t-shirt, scarf, jacket, dress, shirt, trousers, and jeans. Which of these are they wearing? And which band is this, Alex, do you know? This is Bon Jovi. Yes. <laughs> Throwback to the eighties. Yeah? From New Jersey, yeah. Throw back to the nineties, I should say. Yeah, eighties, nineties. No, eighties. Late eighties. Late nineties. Okay. I think they got off mm. to the early two thousands as well. Yeah, most probably. Yeah. They must probably still going. Um okay, so let's have a think. What could we say they are wearing? Um I would say that I Guys, you know, we'll excuse the photo. It's not so, so clear. We can't see everything, but uh, for sure we can say they are wearing jackets, yeah, mm -hmm. a type of jacket. Um, they are wearing tr trousers, mm -hmm. yeah. We can't see exactly what type. I'm not sure whether the guitarist is wearing a shirt or a scarf. Yeah, it's not clear. Tell. Not clear, but the guitarist, what's he doing? He's playing the guitar. Yeah. And Mr. John Bon Jovi is singing. So we can say he is singing. He is okay. singing because he's the singer. Perfect. Yes, exactly. And okay. guys, what are you wearing, us, wearing today? Uh, how about you tell us? Olga, what are you wearing? Come on. So I'm wearing a sweater <laughs> and some jeans. And my sweater is light green. Okay. And I'm wearing a t-shirt. I am wearing jeans. And also, uh, just to remind you guys, we use the verb to wear for clothes, as we all know. But we also use the verb to wear for accessories. Exactly. So, for example, I would say, I'm wearing glasses. Now I'm wearing glasses. I'm also wearing a bracelet. If I was, if I, if I had a watch, I would also say I am wearing a watch. So we use the verb to wear, which I'll just hear, to wear. Oops, excuse me, guys. My clothing. Oops. Uh, 
I don't know, my spelling is terrible. Yes. I'm not sure whether the spelling is right. Accessories with an S at the end? Uh, yes. I think so. Okay, there we go. Uh, the yeah, there's a, you inverted uh, the S and the E, but it's okay. Yeah, okay. Sorry, guys, so my spelling is... Uh... Okay, but just so we remember, yes, accessories. Where is for, yes, there's a small typo there, but it's where is used for clothing and accessories. Perfect. Okay, sorry for the spelling, guys. Okay, all right, let's okay. go to the next. Uh... So let's look at the adverbs of manner right now. Okay, all right. Uh, shall I or shall you? Please go. Okay, adverbs of manner. Uh, in this exercise, we have to match the opposites. But first of all, let's just check the pronunciation we'll go from from the left first so we have angrily then we have badly loudly fast slowly quietly well and happily okay first of all i'd like you guys to think which ones you think are the opposites. Ah, Massimo has written to us saying he's wearing a T-shirt. Massimo, the shirt is going to be singular there because otherwise it sounds like you're wearing two or three T-shirts. If it's one T-shirt, so it's a T-shirt and basketball shorts. That's a good one. Yeah. Must be comfortable. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, basketball shorts. Good description. Okay, so we're going to match the opposites. Okay, so for angrily, uh, Alex, what do you think? So angrily the, is means when you are uh, angry. Yes. And the opposite is when you are happy, so happily. Perfect. Great. How about badly? number two, Richard? Yes. Badly. Are you doing something in a good way then? No, not really. When mm, you're doing something really. badly, it's it's not in a good way. Mm -hmm. uh, so the opposite is going to be in a good way. Okay. So when we use when we use good as an adverb, yeah, we don't we don't say you do it good. You do it well. So the exactly. opposite of badly is well. So you would say she's singing well, or she's singing badly. Next one. Loudly. If I'm loud, I'm loud. So I'm <laughs> yelling, basically. Instead, <laughs> the opposite is shh, quietly. Excuse okay? me? Yeah. Ah, very good. Olga's wearing a t-shirt and jean shorts. Okay, yeah, it's quite warm today. Yeah, I've been out. Okay, yeah, loudly and quietly. Great. I don't think this one should be too much of a hassle for you guys. Okay, so we have fast and slow. So the adverb of slow is slowly. Okay, great. Okay, let's put these into uh, practice. We'll have a look at the next oh, example. Sorry, he's playing the guitar fast. Uh, exactly, and yes, remember that there are a few. Normally, to create an adverb, you just add ly at the end, but there are some exceptions. So, as Richard pointed out, good becomes well, and fast remains fast. So these are two exceptions. We can say okay. she's singing loudly, but she's also singing well, or she's singing badly. Perfect. So let's describe now these pictures. Try using the adverbs of manner we have just seen. So try using happily or angrily 
fast or slowly, quietly or loudly, or well or badly. Okay. Um, and also we can use the present continuous to describe uh, what she is wearing and also what she is doing, the action. So can't see too much, but um, she is wearing, <clears throat> excuse me, guys, uh, a yellow T-shirt, I think. Yes, she's wearing a yellow T-shirt with a with a print on the front. A black uh, print. Yeah, yeah, black print. She is playing. Uh, what is she doing? She is playing the guitar. Okay, and I think that's a Fender Stratocaster. And how is she playing? Difficult to tell, so we'll just invent something. I think she is playing uh, well and slowly. Yeah, maybe. It slowly. could be loud. Yeah. It seems like baby a, loud. Yeah. a rock yeah. band or something. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah she's punch. play loudly. Yeah, okay. All right. What do you think? Do you think she's playing loud, loudly, um, happily, and angrily? That could be correct. Yeah. So why not? Why not, Olga? It's a really good guess. Yeah. Any other adjectives and adverbs that you can think of? Like I say, we, we, we can't hear the sound, so this is our Let's own imagine. ideas. It's great, yeah. yeah. As long as you're using them, yes, okay, you understand the context. Perfect, Olga. That's why not? Okay. So okay. let's try with another picture. <laughs> what is this little guy doing? Okay. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> My turn. Oh, look at me. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Richard. So. What is happening? Well, there's a black and white cat mm -hmm. uh, playing the piano. Okay. Or at least trying to play the piano, I guess. <laughs> so uh -huh. what is he doing? Uh, the cat is walking on the keys. Perfect. The keys are the white and black things that are on a piano. And how is it playing? Well, I think he's not playing very well. So you could say he's playing badly and probably slowly. Unless something scares him, then he'll run away and he could be playing very fast in that case. I don't think he's playing well, is he? I don't think so either. Uh, no, I don't <laughs> think so. Yes, I don't think he's playing well at all. Okay, so as Alex said, he's walking on the keys. Yes, okay, the keys to the piano. And... Uh, I see it, so he is walking. Be careful how you pronounce this. You don't hear the L even if you write it. It's walking on the keys, a long E. And this is a plural because one key, two keys. So let me just show this to everybody. There we go. So he's walking on the keys. Okay. What else are keys? Uh, keys are also things you open something with. So you can open a door, uh, open a cupboard, okay, open a lock of some kind. Okay, I'm just looking at uh, Massimo's comment just to say well done. The grammar is fantastic. Yeah, very good. Okay. Very sweet. <laughs> Cats playing like a dog. 
Okay. okay. Not that. No, no, no. Yeah. It's, it's, it's on the comments what, what she was wearing, but doesn't matter. This is good also. Yeah. Fantastic. Just remember to put the verb to be in the middle. So the cat is playing like a dog. Okay. All right. And uh, when you use like in this context, okay, the cat is playing like a dog, you are making a comparison. Exactly. Very okay. well done. Very funny. Yeah. We have, uh, we have many different uses, many, actually four, four or five different uses of the, uh, of the verb to like. In this context, it is used as a comparison. I was looking at your previous comment, Massimo, about what the girl was wearing. And I just wanted to say she's wearing a t-shirt and she's playing guitar. Perfect. That's perfect. That's very yeah. good. It's a good, good very sentence. Good. Okay. Shall we look at some other photos to describe uh, what people are wearing? This is an interesting one. Um, Alex, do you want to go or shall I go? please okay thank you <laughs> again musicians um describe this photo what is he wearing okay now this is maybe uh some vocabulary vocabulary you know new maybe it's the same in italian maybe some new ones yes yeah, so on his head um alex speaks italian so she will help me here in English, we would call that a uh, bandana. And is it the same in Italian? It's the same. Right, okay, all right. So he's wearing a, uh, a bandana, or he's wearing a black bandana. He is also wearing a shirt. I more or less think I'm correct there because he has long sleeves. And then he's wearing something like, like this it's, it's 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 like a jacket but it's not exactly a jacket because it doesn't have any sleeves yes mm -hmm. okay and sometimes people wear these with suits you can have a suit which is a two-piece suit so you have your trousers or pants and a jacket both the same same material same color but sometimes you can have a three-piece suit which has you wear this under the jacket but also now people wear these things in a casual way just in general this piece of clothing is called a waistcoat okay let me oh, sorry. It's a... ah, okay no no it's fine there's a, a typo in my this time i did it there's it's all right e so it's suit, I'll write it again, because somehow my computer just changed that. Okay. Suit is without the E, and we pronounce it suit. Perfect. Remember when you find U-I-T, a lot of times it has this oot sound. So for example, fruit or juice. Perfect. Excellent. It's Friday night, Alex. We're just, we're just making mistakes. We're all tired. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those days. <laughs> it must be. <laughs> okay. So we have the waistcoat. Yes, the black waistcoat. Uh, we could also say he is wearing a red nose. Yeah. A red like, rubber nose. It's made yeah. of rubber. Rubber uh -huh. is material. Okay. Uh, what is he doing? All right. He, maybe we say in general, he's performing. And right. by, by performing, he is playing a guitar. And what type of guitar is that? Any idea, Alex? It he is performing. Like yeah. Guitar. Yeah, it's an acoustic guitar. And with his mouth, he is playing a harmonica right okay and how is he playing um, i would think he's playing 
quite well. Uh, he seems very complex, so he must be a very good performer. Yeah. He must yeah. be a very good musician. Yeah, he's playing well, maybe loudly. He's in the street, maybe on stage. Uh, I don't know if he's playing happily. Yes. He seems like Could a sad clown. Very good. So if we have the uh, the adverb happily, what do we think the opposite of happily is then, as an adverb? Remember, I have just used the adjective sad. So remember what we told you? To create an adverb, you add L-Y to the adjective. So sad so he, mm -hmm. becomes what? Sadly? Sadly, yes. Perfect, yeah. I think he's playing sadly. To me, he doesn't look very happy, yeah? Mm -hmm. And he doesn't look as if he's playing very happily. So we could say he's playing sadly. Okay, uh, to finish, should we have one more? Yes. I think there's one more we can look at. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to over here. Okay, so in this case, we have a pianist. Perfect, very good. So what do you think, uh, what is she doing? She is playing the piano. And what is she wearing? Um, she is wearing a dress. Yes. And I uh, help me out a little bit, Alex, with the color. I would say it's like a, like a light pink or something. Peach. Maybe peach. Oh, very good. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'm not used to wearing dresses. Um, <laughs> Yeah, peach is a very specific yeah, like, color. It's like the fruit. Yeah. So the fruit is called peach, and the color also is called peach. It's that color between pink and orange. Perfect. Okay, so let's just have a quick review of what we've looked at today. We looked yes. at some vocabulary uh about bands what type of instruments so we had uh, a pianist a guitarist a bass player a drummer uh, and we also and a singer we also mentioned that you could have a rhythm guitar a lead guitar and a bass guitar the grammar we looked at was the present continuous and the present continuous describes an action that is happening in the past, present, or future. Present, yeah, which is happening now. Okay, and how do we make the present continuous? We use the subject and the verb plus ing. Okay, playing, singing, yes, all right. Okay, speaking, talking, listening. Yeah, we are listening to music. Now we are listening to music. Okay, and then of course, Al, we had the adverbs, which, what? The adverbs are, adverbs are of manner are used to describe an action. And so examples can be happily, slowly, sadly, and we have normally, we make them adding L-Y to the adjective. So I have sad and I can have sadly. There are some exceptions. So the exceptions we saw were fast, which remains fast. And the other one is well, which comes from the adjective good. With this being said, we would like to wish you a very nice evening tonight. Uh, take care, everybody, and keep on following Maya's 
for more lessons, more online webinars. Okay, thanks very much, guys. I'd like just to add to that, please, Alex, to say thanks, everybody, for joining us. And it was very nice uh, for Olga to join us uh, because I know Olga very well. I'm glad uh, you're keeping well, Olga. And have a nice weekend, everybody, and keep safe. Bye, Massimo, and bye, Mattia, and bye, everybody. Thank you for uh, following us. Thank you, guys. Thanks.